Hi guppies! We're gonna make a bonfire to represent um, Lagba Omar. And Lagba Omar is a holiday that we celebrate Rabbi Shimon's life and Rabbi Akiva's life. Um, they were two rabbis that believed in loving God and being nice to each other and respectful to each other. And um, they did their best to help spread spread that love. So we are going to make this bonfire to represent um, Lagba Omar. So what I did was I had some paper towel rolls. Uh, I left these two unpainted. I painted these ones. I had paper towel and toilet paper rolls. I put them on some tin foil here. I haven't glued them together yet, but I wanted to show you um, what I did um, to get them to kind of like sit on each other is I just kind of cut some holes out. Your um, parents or siblings can help you do that so that that way they just kind of fit right in, almost like a Lincoln log, right? They kind of fit like a puzzle right in there and they can balance better. And we always start out a fire by making like an X here. And then you can take your smaller logs and build up like that on all the sides. So I left two here for us to paint and to color with uh, crayon or marker in case you don't have paint. So this one I started to color it with um, some crayon. So I'll just finish that up. Color it. This way the, the logs will look a little different because not all looks all logs look the same, right? Not all wood looks the same. So I just used brown paint if you want. You could add a little white to your paint and make your um, brown kind of lighten up a little bit and give it some different shades. So I colored that one with the crayon. And then we're going to paint this last log with some brown paint. Let's get some paint on my brush. You can make this as big as you want or as small as you want. If you have a lot of uh, toilet paper rolls and, and um, paper towel rolls, you could make a really big um, pretend bonfire. Mine's going to be a little small. We didn't have that many rolls. I actually had to take some paper towels off. We'll still use them, but <laughs> they're all folded up there. So I painted all the way around. Now if you want, parents, you can put um, some glue right into your paint if you're going to be building it all at the same time. So I'm going to see how I want to design this here, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some glue, and I'm just going to um, glue these logs together so that they'll stay. So I get some glue here. If you have another paintbrush you want to use to spread it around, I'm just going to use my fingers because I can always wash my hands. I'm going to glue that one there. Put some glue on this one because I want it to stay together because we're going to be using this next week in our... Um, in our um, class Zoom where we're going to celebrate Lagba Omer. So if you make a bonfire, you're going to be able to bring it to our circle and pretend to have a bonfire. And we're going to sing songs and maybe we'll dance around the bonfire and read a little story. So there we go. So I built my bonfire and I glued it together. I have it on the tin foil so that um, it won't stick. You could make it on a paper plate or um, some cardboard or newspaper, whatever you have. Now, I also pre-cut some flames to stick out of the paper towel rolls. Yeah, I'll cut a few more out. You know, they don't have to be perfect. You just cut. You could even 
If you're cutting kids, you can just cut any kind of pieces because we're also going to do where you just crinkle it up and place it onto your fire once you put some glue. So maybe what I'll do is I'll put some glue over here on the tin foil. You see the glue there? And then I can dip my crinkled up paper into the glue and then just place it onto the bonfire wherever I want. My flames, I'll dip those into the glue and kind of stick those inside um, coming out of the toilet paper roll. I did red because sometimes the flames look red. And I did yellow. And I did orange. There's some orange ones here sticking out. And I also did blue because when the fire is really, really hot, it's blue. If you look way down deep inside the fire, it gets blue down inside there. Some more orange over here. And you can put as much fire flames on here as you want. And the kids will have fun just crinkling up the paper. They can tear the paper. You can have paper. I like to use scraps of paper. I never throw away any paper because um, you can always reuse it somehow. So they can rip it up and then just can put it inside. Yeah. And there we go. So there is our bonfire, guys. I'm going to show it to you so you can see what it looks like. Let's see if I can. Looks pretty good. So I'll be bringing this next week to our circle, and we will sing some Lagba Omer celebration songs. Okay, guppies. See you next time. Hope you have fun making your bonfires. Can't wait to see them. Post pictures if you do. Bye. Love you guys.